He was just 46 years old, a 13-year veteran of the Nevada Highway Patrol. His obituary says that he grew up in a small town in Massachusetts. His parents say he was a shy child that loved the snow and the cold and sledding, but he came here to sunny Las Vegas to chase his dream of being a law enforcement officer in 2008. His colleagues say he was loyal, he was witty, he had a sarcastic humor, and that he looked out for everyone, even making sure they stayed lo awake long enough during in the graveyard shift to have lunch. He was a loving husband and his former partner says this was evidence even in his very last moments. Before the, this incident or this call came out, I know he was actually talking to his wife on the phone and she and that that's something that really tugs at me emotionally is that he was on a, you know, speaking with his wife on the phone, I believe, right when this call came out. And, and hung up with her to, to handle this call, and then these tragic events happened. And he and his wife, Joanna, had two small kids, Raylan and Melody. He's also survived by his parents, Ed and Catherine, and his brothers, Seth and Paul. Now, the services are open to the public. The procession starts here at Paul Mortuary at 930, and we do have information on the services on our website. That's fox5vegas.com. I'll send it back to you guys.